Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Have a beautiful song for you guys today. We'll learn how to do This I Love off of uh, Guns N' Roses' uh, Chinese Democracy album. First song off that album that I have actually done. Uh, this one's been requested quite a bit, and I kind of avoid it because it's a piano-based thing. Um, but I've now kind of done like a kind of an arrangement of the piano part. It's not going to be exact of the piano, obviously, because it's a piano. But uh, uh, we can get some really cool sounding um, uh, things out of it, uh, kind of emulating the piano, I guess. And of course, it has an epic, uh, just a great guitar solo that's like, like a couple minutes long by Robin Fink. So uh, we got some really cool stuff to cover today. Um, before I do, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And please check out my Guitar Academy. You'll see the, the link in the description below. That link will give you a free seven day trial to try out my Guitar Academy and see if you like it. Um, it's My Guitar Academy contains all of my guitar courses, uh, from complete beginner courses to more advanced ones in technique and improvisation and ear training and theory and guitar tone and all that good stuff. So please go check that out. All right, so let's, check a, uh, let's take a look at this track. We are in uh, E flat tuning, so everything tuned down a half step. So E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. So we are good to go. So I'm going to start with this, uh, this, it starts with this kind of a swelling in of like an A minor chord. You hear that at the beginning of the track. And then the verse comes in immediately. starts over. Now, for parts of that, I'm kind of emulating the piano chords and melody pretty closely. And then as we get a little bit further along, like kind of the second way through the progression, I don't match the piano anymore because it starts going up in a really high register and it just doesn't sound great. So I just kind of go back to what we were doing the first time through for that. So I'll explain as I go. So let's start here. So this is the main progression. So that starts with the ninth fret there on the G string, and then you're just gonna go 10, eight on the high E string. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold, I'm gonna bar the first, the top four strings across the seventh fret, and I'm gonna be holding the ninth fret on the G and the 10th fret on the B. So when I do that, and I have the open A in the bass too, so that note's the seventh fret there on the, the from the bar on, on the high E. It makes it um, a, a sus two chord real quick, and then back to the eighth fret there on the uh, high E string, and then to the tenth fret there on the B. So pick that B string. So we have this. And then I just got kind of like to fill out the sound. Just kind of lightly pick. This is the melody note, so you let that ring. But I kind of fill out the sound underneath it by just picking across the D and the G, uh, the G and the D. So, but that's that's optional. Then you're gonna jump back here. Now the reason why I didn't do this here, the next part, which is real close, um, is because I wanted to keep this A string ringing. So. So that's still ringing as I can go down here, so it makes it sound a lot better. Then it's kind of the same little figure. We're gonna start here, the fifth fret there on the G, and then the fifth fret on the high E, and then when I get down to the, uh, the G note there, the third fret on the high E, I'm gonna bar once again. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna play it by barring across four strings. The, E, B, G, and the D. So we have this. From there, I'm gonna play the fifth fret on the on the uh, G string, sixth fret on the B, and then once again, I'm gonna strum across those. 
So that third fret on the high E, that G there, that's going to give it an F sus2 chord now. And then take that up to the fifth fret, to the A on the uh, um, high E string, over to the uh, sixth fret on the uh, B. So that's just kind of the same. They said this one's based around a minor chord. And this one's based around a major. All right, now I'm going to pick the, the uh, sixth fret on the B string again, then the open high E. Now, when you hit that open high E, that gives you a, ch a chance to shift down to a D minor. So when you first hold this D minor, it's actually a D sus2 again. We have uh, a sus2 again. So open D, second fret on the G, third fret on the B. So play that first. And then you're gonna. So I, I play, play the bottom chord, the th three strings, and then I pick the third fret on the B again, open high E, then the first fret on the high E, then the third fret. So. And then we're gonna go up to another version of D minor. We're gonna go up to, because we want this to be the top note. So we have the fifth fret on the high E, sixth on the B, seventh on the G, still the open D string. And then what we're gonna do is jump this up and play an A minor chord over that D. All right, so really that kind of creates like a, a minor nine sound without the third. So we have this. So, so far we have this. All right, now we're gonna go to an E. Real quickly, I hit the low E string and then do that over it. So we have this A minor still here. We have the low, the low E over. We're going to do an A minor on top. So I'm going to play the ninth fret there on the G, tenth on the B, eighth on the high E. So hit the low E, strum across those three strings, then change the melody note, pick the tenth fret there on the high E, then resolve it down to an E major, which is the ninth fret on the G, ninth on the B, seventh on the high E. So that takes us one time through the verse progression. So we have this. All right, so that's one time through. So, so far we're matching what the piano is doing pretty closely, especially in the melody. And then we have this. So does that little figure there. So when we're starting over, instead of doing this, the melody on the piano is different. Really beautiful. So we have the ninth fret on the G, 12th on the high E, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the 10th on the high E, but I like to do it by holding, just doing a, a bar to play it across the 10th fret at the uh, high E and the B string, because that sets us up to now play this. So that's open A string, 10th fret on the D, 9th on the G, 10th on the B, 10th on the high E string. So that's a minor at 11. And then you play the E as the top note. Move that melody note. And then down to that same, still let the A, the A ring in the bass, but go to that same A minor uh, triad that we did before, the ninth fret on the G, 10th on the B, 8th on the height. So we have this. Now here's where the piano starts going pretty all the way up. It's out of the range. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to make this at least semi-playable. I know it's not the easiest thing in the world to play already. Um, so what I do from here is, is go back to 
the first time we uh, played through it. So just go straight to the F chord. Same thing. And then when you get to the D minor, because it's based around the same four chords, when you get to the D minor, you don't have to do the full. You just can kind of hang around the D minor like this. That's all I'm kind of really doing. This is the part that you can kind of do your own thing with. Just make a play a, a D minor chord and maybe pick through it a little bit and then take it to an E, ma e major chord. And then sometimes you'll especially hear it during the chorus, but they'll take an E major, then they'll make it an E sus4, which is just adding the second fret on the G and then back to the E major. So you can do anything you want around those two chords. You can be fancy with. Or just kind of. So we have this all together. like when he continues through the verse he doesn't do that big high stuff so that was kind of just the first time you heard it and then kind of later on the song when he starts the verse again you'll hear that kind of that kind of stuff but for the most part the second time through the progression is something you kind of get away with the whole song around with it doesn't really matter all right then we get to that's the most intricate part really kind of well, the rhythm guitar parts then we get to the chorus which is really there's some you'll hear some distortion guitar come in and there's playing power chords off off these but really the, the harmony that you're doing over that and you can make it sound uh, closer to the overall harmony of the piece is an A minor chord to an F major all right, so it's still kind of based around the same chords in the verse, but just we're going to do more simple versions of them. Um, just a standard F major bar chord, so a full bar at the first fret, second fret on the G, third on the D and the A, to a D minor, to an E major, and then they'll play go to an E sus4, like we did earlier, adding that second fret on the G, and then back to the E. So we have this. If you don't want to strum the chords, you can just kind of pick across them. All right, so out of that, it goes back, back to the verse and back through the same chorus again. And then we get to the solo section. Now this solo is killer, but it does have a little bit different chords, um, chord progression underneath it for the second half of it at least. Um, so I'm gonna play through the chord progression uh, really quick for the uh, guitar solo, and then we're gonna cover that solo note for note, so don't you worry. So here we go.
right, so uh, that is just the same chord progression that we did for the uh, chorus done four times, the first four times to it. All right, so after you've done that four times, now we start mixing things up a, a little bit. It goes to an F major chord. This is one of... So that, that little section of the solo is when it comes in. So it's so an F major to a D minor. E major and that little sus thing real quick and then back to E. And then back to the F again to the D minor. Now instead of going to E, we go to A minor. All right, and then we do all of that again. The F to a D minor. And then once again to the F, the D minor, and then the A minor takes us back to the song. All right, so uh, you know, out of that, uh, we go with kind of the same chords and it kind of resolves down to the it's like kind of the chorus riff one more time, and then it gets kind of resolves to the E and, and goes back to the verse. Um, now, let's take a look at this solo real quick. I'm going to play through it. It's kind of long. Um, so I'm going to play through it real quick, and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. So this solo is by Robin Fink, by the way. So here we go. <laughs> So some really, really, really nice stuff in that solo. Uh, it's just epic. It just goes and goes and goes. It's just beautiful melody after beautiful melody. So really, really great compliment to that, that chord progression. So let's start here um, uh, with this beginning. We have... So that is a unison bend. So you're going to have the 17th fret on the high E string with the 20th fret on the B. So you're going to bend up the 20th fret while you're playing those two notes together. Until this note sounds like that note on the high E. All right, from there we're going to go back to the. Um, I'll kind of take out the delay. So that's a. a you're going to bend at the uh, 14th fret on the G string. Pulse that bend, then release the bend and go pick it again. Bend and release. So we have this. We have this. All 
All right, now back to that unison bin from that we started with. You can pick it a couple times. So that's a 20th fret on the B, 18, and then a half step bend at the 17th fret and release it. So, Next phrase. So we have this sliding into the 15th fret of the B, then 17. Then play 15, 17 on the high E, and then bend that up a whole step. Then pick that again. Bend it up a half step and release. And then a big bend and release. And then play 15 on the high E. So we have this. All right. And then we have this. So that's sliding into the 15 on the high E. Then play 17. Then slide down into the 15th fret on the B string. Then play 13. And then slide into the 12th fret. Then play 13. I'm using that, like playing that like that with these two fingers because I'm keeping my uh, middle finger free to do the bend at the 13th fret on the B. So. So sliding into the 12, play 13, then over to the 13th fret on the B string, whole step bend. Release. Then play 12, 13. So from here we have this phrase. So we have this bend there. Pick it again, release. And as you're releasing it, jump over and grab the 17th fret on the high E string. All right, and then we have this next phrase. All right, so um, now that so that comes from the after you did that uh, so after you did this. Uh, Do those couple bends, pick that and release to the 17th fret. And then we have the double stops at so the 15th fret across the B and the high E. Slide them down. And then the 13th fret of the, the double stops there, same strings. And then that same melody we did before. All right, so. So from there, we're gonna we'll go. So, so you're kind of doing some bends at the 15th fret on the B string, and then some unison bends. So now you're grabbing that 12th fret on the high E with it. Release the bend, pull off to 13, over to 14 on the G, and then that ending there is sliding into the 9th fret on the G. Play the double stops at the 8th fret on the high E and the B. Hammer on the 10th fret, those two double stops. Back to the 8th, back to the, um, the 9th fret. So, so far we have this, uh, we have this. I'm sorry, I might have missed a little thing there. So with this, after that, it goes into that. Sliding into the 14th on the G, then the 13th on the B, and then you get to those bits. Sorry about that. Missed a couple notes. Went back and got them, but uh, it's going to happen when you have a solo that's this long. Then we have this.
All right, so that starts with double stops now at the 15th fret across the B and the high, high E string. So you do that, pick those together, and then pick them again. Slide to the seven. Now that's a sliding into the 17th on the B, over to 15 on the high E, and 17 a couple of times on the high E. And then. So that's sliding into the 20th fret on the high, on oh sorry, on the B string. Over to 17 on the high E. Now that right there is at the 19th fret, it's a half step pre-bend. You want it to sound like a half step higher and then release it. So, so make sure you don't over bend that. It's not a whole step, it's a half step bend. And then hammer 17 to 19 on the high E, over to 17 on the B. And then at the 20th fret, kind of a couple of bend and release bends there. And then up to the 22nd fret, you kind of go bend up to the, the note, which is bending up to an E, and release it a little bit, and then back to that E. So, All right, now we get to the really this, which is the second half of the solo. So when that F, D minor, E, F, D minor, A minor progression comes in, and we have this. All right, so we're gonna start here at the uh, double stops at the 17th fret on the B and the high E. Slide them down, then 15, then 13. Now you're gonna play uh, the 12th fret double stops a, a few times and slide them down to eight. That's sliding into the 12th fret there on the uh, G. Then play 12, 15, I'm sorry, 13, 15 on the B string. Then back to the 12th on the B. And when you hit that, you're gonna start adding the high E string in there. You hit the high E in there with it. So he kinda does, 10, I mean 12, down to 10. There's a quick little trill real quick. Hammer pull from 10 to 12 on the beat. And then the same thing at a nine. All right, let that high E ring with it. All right, from there. So that's sliding into nine, 10, 12, and then a half step bend and release. Down to 10 now on the G, on the B. Slide into 14 on the G, and then over to 15 on the B. Then once again, a half step bend and release. Uh, at the 12th fret on the B, I'm playing it with a different, my index finger now. Go down to 10, and then kind of a quick slide up and back down to that note. And then you can end that little phrase with the, ten, the 12th fret on the high E string. I'll let that ring. From there we have this. So that right there, um, so after we've gotten to that little part right there, we go up to the a bending at the 18th fret on the B string, on the B string, release, 
Then the same thing at the 15. Kind of bend it a couple times. Pull off the 13. Then back to the 15. Slide up. And then play 13. And then go up and grab that double stop there at the uh, 15th fret of the B and the high E. And then you can just kind of go back and kind of, kind of, you can kind of lead into that 15th fret of the B string, I think maybe does that. And then some bends at the 15. And then he starts doing the bend with the, the unison bend, adding that 12th fret. And then you uh, release the bend, pull off to 13, and then pull off 14 to 12 on the G. And then a couple of bends again at the 15. And then here he grabs this G sharp, uh, which I just let you know you're at the E chord in the progression. So we have this, we have this, it's kind of a couple of bends there, the 15th fret on the B. And then grab that G sharp. And then pick the 15 again on the B. Release. And then, then quickly go 17, 16 on the high E string. And then we have this. So that's. So kind of a half step bend and release of the 17th fret on the B string. Down to 15, 13, then 12, 13, 15. Back to 13, over to 14 on the G. All right, from there we get to the end of the solo. Uh, second to last phrase in the solo. We have this, sliding into 14 on the G, then play 13, 15 on the B, 13, 15 on the B, back to 13 on the B. Then we have the a D string and the G string at the 12th fret. Over to 14 on the D, and then slide into the 14th fret there on the G. And then we have this little melody that ends the solo. When the this is when the vocals come back into. So um, we have this one. So we have this uh, 13, 12 on the B string, then 12, 14 on the G. Then you do that again, except instead of going 12 to 14 on the G, you're going to bend to that. So this. So all together. Then over to the D string, and I'm gonna do a bend and release there as well. So bend and release to the 12th fret on the D, then grab 15 on the um, A string real quick, and then back to a bend at that 12th fret on the D. And release, and we have So that's sliding into the 14th fret on the D and then play 13, 14, 16. And then you're gonna do that whole stat bend at the 13th fret, I'm sorry, 14th fret on the G. Release. And let that uh, sustain as long as you can. And then go back a half step, do a pre-bend. And resolve it, release it. Pre-bend, a half step pre-bend, pre-bend. And then slide down to nine on the G string. All right, so that is it for the solo.
an epic, really, really great solo by Robin Fink. So uh, uh, it's just really great melodies, really great techniques, great vibrato, bending. Um, so it's a, it's a great workout for that kind of thing, being really expressive guitar playing. All right, so um, so then we go back to the, the verse section. So the kind of same thing that we did before. So nothing new there, uh, just the, the piano, uh, our little simulation of the piano parts. And then we have the chorus at the end of the song, which they just play the chorus chords basically once. <laughs> And then there's this little piano figure that you can do pretty well on guitar. So that's what he's doing on the piano, and you can emulate it really well on guitar. So it starts, this is at the very end of the song. So we have, after you've done that chorus progression one time, we have this little ending. So you start with an A plus two chord. So open A string, second fret on the D and the G, open B. So I play, strum across those four middle strings there, and then hammer on that first fret on the B string. Now we start this little descending figure. So all that is, is you, you're gonna always keep coming back to this note, this first fret on the B string, the C. So we're gonna play the, the second fret on the G, then, so I'm just doing a downstroke on the G string, upstroke on that first fret on the B string there, and then release that note on the G string. So now I have the open G, and then that same note up top with the upstroke, then third fret on the D, back to that top note, second fret on the D, back to the top note, open D, back to the top note, third fret on the A, second fret on the A, and then open A. So I'll keep going back to this top note. Just going down the A minor scale. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of arrangement of the piano parts for This I Love and then a, a complete transcription of the really epic guitar solo. All right, I certainly enjoyed doing it and, and playing that solo it was just uh, a lot of fun for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.